Here's a question on rotational motion and conservation of energy. Let's write down the givens. A disk of mass 5 kilograms and radius 2 meters is released from rest at the top of an incline that is 7.5 meters high. The disk rolls down without slipping. At the bottom, what is the angular speed of the disk? The moment of inertia of a disk of mass m in radius r is 1 half m r squared. Use g equals 10 meters per second squared. I'm going to take away the question now and move all of these givens up. So here's the ramp, and the ball is released from rest, and it speeds up as it goes. When it gets to the bottom, it's going fast. Where did that energy come from? Well, at the top, it has gravitational potential energy. And the reason I know it has gravitational potential energy is that there is height at the beginning. And when there is height above some zero level, there is gravitational potential energy. So what are the energies at the bottom? Because we get rid of all of this height, we get rid of all this gravitational potential energy, and it transforms into translational kinetic energy. And I know that that's there because the thing is moving with some final speed. But the potential energy also transforms into rotational kinetic energy. And I know we have rotational kinetic energy at the end because we're rotating. Let's set up an equation where we start with this energy and we transform into these two. The total energy is conserved, and so we say that the gravitational potential energy is converted into the translational energy plus the rotational energy. This is equal to mgh. Translational is 1 half mv squared, and the rotational is 1 half i omega squared. We have final here because the right side represents the energies at this moment. This is the final moment, whereas this is the initial moment. So we, we could put h initial i, but uh, we're just going to leave it h for now. How do I solve this equation? How do I find omega? Well, first, let's plug in right here, the speed. There's an equation that says speed is equal to omega times r. And there's another equation we've got above that says i is 1 half m times r squared. But wait, there's a mass in every term, so we can cancel those masses. What else can we do? Well, first let's write the equation again. We've got gh equals 1 half r omega squared. I distributed the square, the exponent. And then I've got, well, half times half is a fourth of r squared times omega squared. But you see how we've got r omega and they're both squared? Here we've got r omega and they're both squared. We could simplify by combining these two terms. So 1 half, that's the same as 2 fourths. 2 fourths and 3, 1 fourth makes 3 fourths. To solve this, we now just plug in the givens. g is 10, h, that was given as 7.5, and omega here, i sorry, r here, is uh, 2. So how do we solve this? We can actually do it without getting a calculator. Try this in your head. Try and simplify and then solve. Here's how I solve. I say 2 squared is 4. 4 over 4 is 1, so that goes away. I'm going to divide both sides by 3, so this becomes a 1. And I'm going to take the 3 and uh, apply it to the 7 and a half because 7.5 over 3 is 2.5. And then I multiply these together to get 25, and the square root of 25 is 5 radians per second. That's how you solve these problems.